Hey guys, Boat Shooter here. We're here for a new segment that I'm going to start. I'm still going to do gameplays. I'm still going to do things, updates, and all that. But this is just a simple um, new series that I'm starting. It pretty much, if you ever, ever tried Comic Astorian, which is pretty much just reading comics and summing them up and showing you panels. And then you also have the gamer guys, I think there are. That tell you them in like five minutes. So pretty much it's going to be a five minute summary with me about certain things. And this one's going to be about Beowulf. Alright, to quickly summarize before we get into our five minutes. Pretty much before we enter this video, this is based on the Angelo Saxons Christianity. Christianity people. Where it is uh, pride or a lot of God. So... Alright, when that clock hits 30, I will start with the thing, so by 6.30, we'll have to end it. Okay? And this is also an old English working kind of book, so if you ever read it and you don't like Christianity, and you don't know how to s s read things, don't read it. Alright, here we go. Three, a two, a one. It all starts with Adam and Eve and their descendants, Abel and Cain. Cain kills Abel, releasing demons, which are the de which actually have descendants, which are the demon, which are the demons that are the parents of the main villain. So descendants of the demons that came from Cain end up giving birth to the main villain, Grendel. Grendel kills anyone in uh, Hrothgar's celebration hall. For seven years, Beowulf is the prince of the Giats. He is his father is the king. The king uh, killed someone in in Hrothgar's kingdom without payment, which is against the Anglo-Saxons' rules. Beowulf comes to, to help um, Hrothgar, who pesters him for losing a race through the seas since he fought off sea monsters. Beowulf fights Grendel under the Anglo-Saxons fairness fight rule where so he has no clothes and no weapons. He sleeps in the celebration hall with his with his faithful war warriors for a surprise attack after Grendel kills one of their own. Beowulf actually ends up taking off rips off one of Grendel's arms and nails it to the celebration hall for a trophy. Grendel goes back to his lair which is in a spooky very dark swamp, which is several hour hours underneath a swamp, where he dies out, but his mother realizes this and gets angry, and because of not paying the payment of Angelo Saxons that Beowulf was supposed to, she gets angry. For repayment, she goes and kills Hrothgar's best friend, and also takes back the arm of Grendel. Hrothgar send, sends Beowulf to fight her. He has to get, um, he only is the only one who can because he's the only one who can survive the depths of the swamp. So he ends up, they go against, and Grendel's mother is about to kill him, where he finds a sword forged by giants, where he ends up winning by cutting. Her head off, and then he goes and decapitates the corpse of Grendel for his head to return it to as a trophy. Also, returning with the hilts of the sword because the blade had melted a after exiting the swamp. He gets, um, he makes makes it back with treasure and also makes good with Hrothgar, so no more payment is due from his from his father, and becomes the king of the Giats. Decades later, two criminals go and steal some treasure from, which awakens a dragon, which is furious from its treasure getting stolen. An aged Beowulf um, brings the descendants of his original men um, for their journey, which he brings a sword and a shield because they may get killed by the poisonous flames. And he gives these men that were the descendants treasures and castles because they lay their lives on the line for him 
if he were needed. All right. Fighting the dragon was unsuccessful. He stabbed the dragon in the stomach, which ended up in breaking his sword. And when he's over here protecting himself with his shield, it's melting. And while he's needing help from his men, his men run as cowards. Um, I think it's Luig, um, Luigan or something like that. It's the last man standing from the thing. He calls them cowards and he goes to help Beowulf, which they both end up killing the dragon. But Beowulf is too poisoned and too burned from the fight, which he, uh, the last man ends up going to the, the treasure, shows Beowulf, but Beowulf's like, you can keep it, you, the, you, you earned it. Here's a necklace, which means he is, that the last man standing is now king, and is to show the future generations the Anglo-Saxon way. Beowulf dies, he is buried with the dragon's treasure, and he um, they build the Beowulf's tower and spread the word of Beowulf, and the last man standing pretty much shames the men that ran away. And that's it for Beowulf. So, hope you guys like this. I will be doing The Walking Dead Season 1 in 5 minutes right after this. So, I hope you guys like this video. Hit the thumbs up straight button if you want to see uh, if you liked it hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button see my future content go to bolter see the rest of my stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye